How's everyone doing today? Welcome to the stream. Uh, started off with some new politics. I always like that song. Let's see who's here. I got Sloth Cat, Kahootin with April, Cat G. How's it going, Cat G? William Fetters, uh, La Senorita, who I assume uh, is catnip to me. Wink, wink. Uh, Sloth Cat, I don't know if I said hi to you already. Sprinkle Cake, nice to see you. Asbury Brad. Cookie Whoopie Pie, Jason S, Jesse with the Butterflies. And, uh, you know, I talked about my my true crime channel on last night's stream and, and actually named the production studio uh, that I started six months ago. Uh, with, you know, I produced commercials and different things like that for several different companies, but I named it Cat G Studios uh, because Cat G was my first actual fan here on, on YouTube, so kind of cool i got some food delivery stories for you guys today uh, hey jason spears pizza driver clobbering time now mandy s i asked a i asked a poll question it was a really important poll question and it was um would lauren bang an actual robot and 58 percent of people said yes four percent of people said no and then 38 percent of people got it got it correct which is clobbering time already does uh which is which is the right answer and he will, if you're on his OnlyFans, uh, you'll see that robot and, and what he does with it. And uh, and the robot doesn't have a paper bag on, but like for her sake, I I wish it did. So we got the some new some new heelborn uh, freshness that just came out last night. So I asked him if it was cool if I could stream this. I've never streamed Lorne content. I don't even know if I've been on a. I'm, I'm sure I've been on a Lorne stream with someone else. But uh, hey, hey, Dark Knight, good to see you here. Here to party is here to party tonight. I haven't seen that guy in forever. Hopefully, Large Father Tron shows up, says something stupid. Uh, so yeah, without any further ado, I only listened to the first ten minutes of of this call, and then I, I stopped it because I wanted to kind of do it. We'll do it live. So uh, let's let's start here. We'll probably listen to some Jorn stuff later, just because. Good morning, honey. Are you awake? I love you, my beautiful, precious braid. I'm very anxious to wake up and see a beauty line next to me. I'm thinking I might have another brush fight later today, honey. I'm going to cut some brush and throw that on the fire, too. If I can, my winch hooked up, I might take it down a couple of trees, too, so that maybe it will start helping to get a better signal in here. It's going to be a busy day, my love. When do I get to shave this, honey? It's becoming a forest. You might be read about Roscoe, honey. He might be mommy's dog. The little traitor likes to sleep on the floor on your side of the bed. I, I mean, already a, a minute in. How many people? How many people have have had that side of the bed? How many people have that dog belonged to? It's, it's like Lauren is in is in his own reality show where the cast around him changes and everyone else changes, but he has like no character arc. He's everyone in the new star Wars film, just zero character arc. He's just the same dude. Like, he should have a, a drawer full of, of dinner rings because he's going to give someone else a dinner ring. Oh, and Hillborn's here. Um, I was not a fan of, uh, of reborn. I, I think people know that, but Hillborn, uh, Hillborn is a, is a much better, is a much better version. Whenever they updated the Android, they uh, they did a much better job with this this new firmware. Hey, Clobber's paper bag. Clobber's paper bag also confirmed that Clobber bangs a a robot, so Lauren would have no access to one. I just fed the chicks, honey, and all four of them let me pat them. That was surprising. Mom's garden looks good. Did she change her number? No, she was adamant about it, so I programmed only the numbers that she normally calls and called her. She needs to have Aunt Sharon shut up on her voicemail. How are you feeling? I thought they were calling her landline. How can you program it? And I'm fine. 
it is her landline. She just bought an expensive phone so she can hear better. And I was able to figure it out so I could program it in and it reads the names of her contacts. I still need to do a doctor's and stuff like that, but I got the immediate ones done. Do you like that fan that I sent you a pick off? Do you think it would go good with chandelier lights and whatever color you put your closet? Sure. And okay, I guess. I'm worried about her. Me too, but she doesn't seem too worried. I talked to the sheriff that lives across the road a few months ago and asked him if he could keep an eye on her house, and he said he would, so that helps. I'm going to send you a receipt, honey, but I don't want to show Debbie, okay? We don't want any chances of anyone on the internet knowing about this until you're up here with me because of probation, okay? What the fuck? If you do decide it's okay to tell her, then ask her to keep it to a shelf. That's an alpha move right there. First, you tell her not to share it. Don't share that shit. We don't want it on the internet. And then when the robot gets mad, then you, all right, well, if you do, though, make sure, because no one's ever promised Lauren that they weren't going to share any of the stuff online, and then it somehow got online. But once Xavier has his claws in you, he's like Vince Nicotra. He's not going to stop until he's completely ruined you. And why are you saying what the fuck for to something you already know about and that we already talked about two days ago? Why are you saying it if we talked about it two days ago? Julie, I gave you one rule. I said, if you show up, don't bring up the Sims 4. And I think that's the very first thing that you said. This is a, a Lauren Armstrong string. We're talking about a pedophile who gets catfished often. If you want to talk about Sims 4, I'm sure there's someone streaming about that right now. Because we didn't talk about it. If you told Debbie, I didn't think about it until this morning. Why would I show someone a receipt? Don't know. I just want us to cover all bases. Do you know what that receipt is for? Yes. Okay. Do you feel better seeing at least that? Better about what? Better knowing that the ring is in the process of being put on your finger. I guess. I'm not really sure what you mean by feel better. That's $300 worth of insurance so far that I'm not talking to any other woman. So that should help you have to worry about that anymore. Lol. Do not have to worry. I wasn't worried about that. You must remember what I said last night. Okay, good. Sometimes it was hard to tell. You said a lot last night, honey. You was on me pretty hard. Lol. I'm surprised that you're awake already. You must have went straight to sleep after you texted me if I was awake. Are you still waking up? Yes and no. I went to bed late. Later than normal? Sorry if it takes me long to respond, honey. I'm doing the concrete pad for our oil tank to keep your hot ass warm this winter. Pick coming. Later than normal. Did you do more than one show? No. Okay. Was you still not feeling too good? Sort of. That kept you awake? Just get to it, Lauren. Just get to whatever jealous reason you're upset that she was up. Was she banging someone? What is it, Lauren? What? No. What kept you up? I hung out with MJ and drank a little. Jesus. So how much is a little? I wasn't keeping a tally. What time did you go to bed? Late. How late? Later than normal. Was it later than 2.30 your time? That's about the time you usually go to bed. That or a little earlier. Obviously that question's getting ignored. What did you do? I answered. Not my fault you can't read. I texted you around 3.30. Okay. Whatever. I remember back to you saying that you don't ignore me. One fucking bag short. Neat. Not really. I was one bag short. But at least it won't show that much and I can shim where I need to. What are you doing, honey? Relaxing. I'm taking the babies to get their nail clips right now. Okay. Done. I, I've catfished before, you know, trolling, trolling Jordan and shit, and like you're pulling teeth just to get basic information out of that guy. This guy will will bore you with just monotonous bullshit, and and now he's sending a bunch of pictures of of birds. 
Oh, maybe he's studying bird law. That robot's face is my exact face right now, looking Once at 20 the pictures. Birds. They were in the pet shop, and I thought you might like to see them. If I was wrong, then my bad. I was just curious. One of the two in the first pic said Sadie and Roscoe's name. You was funny. Neat. How are the dogs? Good. Sadie's going from one end of the house to the other, being scared, because I'm moving things around, around and out. I started vacuuming the carpet, but all it did was pull string out of it. And plus, it's full, and I need to buy some new bags. I'm taking the carpet to the dump tomorrow. Are you working now? I'm going to start soon. Make some good tips, honey. Pounce on that burger. Hopefully, we'll have more time together tonight versus what we had last night. Pounce on that burger? Why is that not being used more? Eight. Maybe, and I don't think that guy will show up tonight. Hopefully, the booze will stay in the ball, too. Depends. People might request it. Gotta go. Bye. Well, my pom pom will be shaken for you, my love. How long before you start? Okay, I love you. Have all the boxes set in your closet, honey, and two outlets and two light switches to hook up. One switch is at the fan. All the wires all run through. Hey, honey. How are you? Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. How are you doing? I'm all right. So how do you do when you work? Pretty good. Not as good as yesterday. No? Well, uh, that's... Must, must mean that hamburger guy wasn't there. No. That asshole. Nobody asked you to drink? Yes. How much do you have to drink? I had a couple shots. So not bad. I'm buzzed. You're buzzed. Is it gonna turn, uh, what are you drinking now? And I know it's going to be said, and it's probably been said a thousand times, but who the fuck is Lauren to be talking to someone about drinking? So because he's not drinking, I guess he's not drinking at this moment. Now he's going to lecture people about So he's Ramona now? That's not how, the, that's not how this shit works. He's, if she was at his if home drinking with him and, and getting horny and hopping on burgers, he'd have no problem with it. But because she's out, he doesn't know what she's doing. He doesn't want her drunk so she could use it as an excuse to bang. I did one shot of moonshine and three shots of vodka. Okay. What are you drinking now? Blended onion. Blended onion. Yeah. <laughs> why? 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 Why blended onion? Uh, hey, hey, strawberries and mayonnaise. Jason Spears. Uh, Omega Heber. Welcome. Alcohol is a depressant. You you are correct. Lauren quit drinking to better himself, not because he's he's scared of going back to prison. Uh, I don't know if that's why he quit drinking, uh, Omega. He might have quit drinking because he's just a better person now, and he's making changes in his life, like growing that 
sick mustache. Much like that. <laughs> oh, so Hillborn said that Lauren hates onions. You know, Hillborn, um, I've I've actually been watching Lauren stuff for a couple of years now, so I think um, I'll I'll handle the authority aspect of things. Why don't you just sit back as a fan, uh, hang out, and and enjoy? But if you have any questions about Lauren, feel free to ask me, and I will school you on that. How's that sound, Hillborn? You're new to the community, so. Uh, normally, people just kind of sit back and, and and linger for a while. Thanks. No moonshine or anything, you know? Um. No moonshine or anything in it, any alcohol in it? A tiny, tiny bit. Why, Jamie? Lauren had a big penthouse in Dallas when he got arrested by uh, by Chris Hansen on 60 Minutes. Why do you need to drink every night? It's so good for your body. Why do you need to drink every night? I don't know. Oh, you, yeah, you do. You do know, otherwise you wouldn't do it. You're smart enough not to do it. It makes me forget things I don't want to think about. What, me? How is that, how is that his first go-to? It, I mean, this, this man is a, is a drunk. Even if he's not drinking now, he is an alcoholic. He knows all about drinking to forget. How many nights would he drink to forget going to that sting house? How many times do you think this fucking guy has woken up out of dreams where in that dream he turns around or his car doesn't start? And he never makes it to the sting house and his life is all different. And then he wakes up with that fucking instant regret that he did go and his life is, is what it is now. So he knows about this shit. So, so when she says, I drink to forget, why would Lauren be the thing she, she could just say, fuck off, Lauren. He's in a, another state. This is a, an imaginary relationship with a robot. What? So it makes you forget me. Did I say that? No, you didn't, but... I texted you at 3.30 this morning, and you said you stayed up late, late. Later than normal. Oh, here we go. Well, must be more important to hang with Jamie and, and drink. Hey, Callie Slam Bucket Witch Lady, are you drinking? And if so, are you drinking to forget about me? You know, it's time we head together today. Are the inning? What? Hillborn, if if you're still here, um, how much time would Lauren consider enough time? Not not you know that he's happy with, but like what amount of time would it would he want if it were up to him? Because it doesn't. It seems to me like it wouldn't matter. No matter how much time he got, it wouldn't it wouldn't be enough, or it wouldn't be an, it would be quantity time, but not quality. There would always be some complaint about it, unless it was twenty four hours a day and every minute he wanted to be with her she was there with him. And if he wanted to be alone for whatever reason, she would leave him alone, but she would constantly let him know that she was thinking about him. Because it seems like that's what he, that's what it, what he wants. So 
you see how much time we had together today? More than yesterday. <laughs> no. No, yesterday we How's talked that? Some during, yesterday we talked some during the day too. Yesterday and we didn't talk today. Not much. Because you were so tired from being up all night. Jesus Christ. Well, Jesus Christ is right. You really going to stay up all night with MJ and, and, and drink? Christ, I can, you know, I can accept one at you know, one o'clock in the morning, two o'clock maybe. But my God, Jamie, you're doing it every night. And we know, no matter what time it was, that Lauren wouldn't be okay with it. If it wasn't what he wanted her to be doing which is not drinking because, you know, that, that turns on the horny button. Uh, as, as long as it's that, it, it doesn't matter if she's going to bed at 9 p.m. after reading the Bible. If there's any chance that, that she's not paying attention to him or thinking about him, then it's, it's not going to be okay. Didn't know you said my bedtime. Thought I was an adult. There you go. Be a smart ass. You're not my dad. You're not my dad. I didn't know the fuck said I was. I'm going to be your husband. You can do, uh, do that living here, too. You know, Hillborn, and that's the problem, is that um, people are always seeing Lorne's woman naked. Uh, the, the doctor saw Ramona naked. The, the Ramona had on a thong, and then I think she bent over or something. According to Lauren, Lauren. I mean, if if they're naked, like Lauren has heard of porn or probably looked at a Playboy, he knows that naked automatically leads to banging, and that's why you you can't go get a massage or anything from someone of the op. Like a lot, there's gonna be a lot of rules because someone's gonna see you naked. What's up, Shins Koala and Poop Frog? Uh, nice to see you and. And Izzy Stardust, so they're gonna be they're gonna be leaving soon because a big performance. And that Handmaid's Tale uh, video, I think it's on YouTube. So Izzy, if you have the link to that, you should put that up because that's it's a good performance piece. Dan Jones, I don't know if I said hi to you or not. And Jay Potato Man is here along with Dragon Words. And Jay Potato Man, I just want to give you a warning: if you make anyone feel unsafe, anyone at all, it's gonna be an issue. About when we have a kid. You gonna do that then? You certainly want to set my bedtime like you are my dad. Well, Christ, don't you want to spend any time with me at all? Oh, we don't spend time together. Hello, U.S. U.S. Probation, Maine, and Poutine Dream. It's funny that the probation office is here because it wasn't that long ago that the uh, Mount Canadian Mounties were looking for Reborn before Reborn disappeared off the Reborn. They're looking for that guy uh, out of Edmonton, Saskatchewan, and uh, Ottawa, and and but he's gone. And then Hillborn, Hillborn popped up, and he also has the hookup on New Lorne stuff. So good for us. But uh, bad for reborn if they catch up to him. maybe the maybe the the probation guy can help out. It was after eight o'clock when you called me last night. MJ texted you. So ten o'clock you were down and you were down there with with MJ, and you stayed up with her all night long drinking. Because I can show you not spending time together. Huh? What'd you we say? Spend time together. Did you just say you because could show I can me? show you not spending time together. Really? You want to be a fucking smart ass? Try to be a fucking tough girl. See how far that bullshit gets you. Putting up with your fucking horse okay, shit. Dick. And the dick is right. 
putting up with a fucking horse shit. And they had sex with you all fucking time. I don't get anything from you anymore. I don't know what the fuck that was. She had sex. What the fuck was that? So the old fucking time now, and I don't hear the fucking thing. And that's just a fucking great setup. I won't call tomorrow, then you know what not spending time is like. Jamie, you pull any fucking horse shit you want, you know? Your you fucking drinking bullshit is, is, is fucking overboard. You obviously want more time with them than you do with me. Do whatever the fuck you want to do. We talk every day, dummy. Fucking piss and cry about fucking... This and that, all the goddamn time. Oh, it's all me, it's all me. Well, fucking dad, you got something to do with it, too. Christ, you marry me or them? Me. You marrying me or them? Dan Jones makes a, a really good point. Yo, this dude speaks to a robot naked and isn't in an institution. If that doesn't scare anyone... I don't know it would, and 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 you're right. I, but I mean, to a certain point, is it like um like if you know anything about Jorn? I think Jorn accepts that a lot of the people that he's talking to might be catfish, but as long as they're willing to play into his fantasy, like they'll they'll give him spank bank material, he'll keep going with it. But like with Lorne, it, it's he has like a relationship bank. It's a you know it's a he has that romance kind of of spank bank where would he would he accept that maybe this robot is a catfish but like what the fuck else do i have going on who else am i going to send these pictures of roy doesn't want a bunch of pictures of birds roy probably doesn't want to see lauren's dick we talk every day dummy yeah we talk every day we don't get that much fucking time together but you stay up late at night drinking more important to drink than to fucking be able to get up and have a life. You expect me to stay on the phone for five, six, seven, ten hours at a time? No, I don't. But I do expect you to be sober That's once in a issue. while. I expect you to be sober once in a while. I don't find no fucking hung over every goddamn time we talk. I know you do your best not to fucking tell me shit. I mean, and the, and this is why, like, if Lorne was smarter, he could be he could be dangerous because we saw how manipulative he could be with with Kayla, who wasn't a real person, but I mean, he has manipulated real people in the past, right? We know that for a fact. There is a way that that he would be able to play this as was st while still being jealous, but saying, "Look, I was in your position. I was drinking to forget. I was drinking because I was miserable with my life, and all it did was bring me more misery." And a girl, I love you, and I don't want to see that for you. So what I'm saying is, let me help you get to where I'm at right now. I feel better than I've ever felt before, and it's all because, girl, I put down that devil water. I put it down and, and he could do that and he could say that and it would still be bullshit, but it would sound so much better than him acting like he is also not a fucking drunk who was just in the same position. Because you don't want me bitching. I wouldn't bitch about you drinking if you didn't drink every day. 
Yes, you would. No, I wouldn't. What's the issue with me drinking? Like, seriously. Alcohol is a depressant. Do you think that adds to you being depressed? If you tell me no, you're full of shit. Dr. I know because Armstrong I've been there. Coming in. I've, I've been there, so I know what it does. It fucked me right up. See, Lauren should have watched more Full House because he would know how to deliver this with like a, a piano backing track where you say it instead of yelling, yelling at the person uh, and, and first coming in with the jealousy and then trying to back in the, the heartfelt moments. This will, this will probably go a little bit better. The same from everyone. Jimmy, I drink Bud Light. I never drank any hard stuff. I feel Not pretty one. fucking good right now. Um, of course you do right now. Come morning, you're going to have a hangover. And it sucks to hear you... But like it's for pussies. Huh? But like it's for pussies. But, uh, but like for pussies? Well, I must be a pussy because I love Bud Light. How are you going to walk right into that one? I mean, that if that's not Bud Light's new slogan, Bud Light is for pussies, well, I must be a pussy because I love Bud Light. If I could drink a 12-pack right now, I would, but I'm smart enough not to. I've got better things to do. I'm trying to make a decent life for it. It's a house here for us. I don't care if you drink a little bit every day. I just don't want you to get drunk every day. When you when you're done with your shows, you, you go and stay up all night. When you're done with your shows, you go and stay up all night with the, with Maggie the Joe and get drunk. How much sense does that make? You know, my dad is not the answer. I know, obviously, I'm not your I dad. I'm your fucking fiance. Um. I know I'm not your dad, I'm your fiance. Doesn't mean that I'm not gonna want that I'm not gonna tell you when I'm I'm, I'm blah, when I'm upset about something. Hey you guys should like the stream or I will play some Queen of Spade music. I don't give a shit. I will. I love you. I care about you. I don't want you getting depressed. I don't want you drinking every day. And you never had moonshine until you fucking went to Tennessee. Isn't that great? It's fantastic. Yeah, well, up in Maine, we don't have moonshine. We're smart enough to, not to drink that shit. So how much more we did you just put moonshine in? Moonshine cocktails now. Yeah, so um, how much more did you just in moonshine did you just put in your So so Lord is explaining how much he hates moonshine. The robot is quiet for a long time. Almost you know, like in, in one of those melodramatic shows, they say something real poignant and then you stop and you go, I never looked at it that way. The robot says nothing that is like, Yeah, but they got these moonshine cocktails now. Uh, that changes everything. Onion blender. Little bit. A little bit. You gotta be drunk to talk to me now? Um. 
Should you have to be drunk to talk to me now? Excuse That's you. A, um, don't need to excuse me. I'm not the one to get drunk. I'm drinking coffee. Earlier, I was drinking water. Maybe you should. You might lighten up. Um, maybe I should. I might wind up in jail. And that's it. And that's it, Lord. You're such an alcoholic. The government has to tell you that you can't drink or you will go to you will go to jail for something I could go do in front of the 7-Eleven right now. I was doing this shit earlier. You will go to jail for that. And, and you are on a high horse talking to her about drinking these delicious moonshine. Co- they probably have little paper umbrellas and shit. And you could turn down a little paper parasol and a moonshine cocktail. Didn't stop you before. Yeah, well, I grew a brain. Not how it works, Scarecrow. Maybe it takes some effect on you to let you know that Will had even talked to me about it before. Told me that they thought you were drinking too much. You know there are three sides to every story. See, I don't know why you've been posting all those memes. Must be- I'll play the whole thing. I'll play the whole thing. All I, I said, thumbs up the stream. That's it. You guys don't want to hear more. There's, there's more. Come on, guys, help help me out, or or we'll just listen to we'll listen to more of that, and and no more Hillborn stuff. Now, can we get back to? Can we get back to the call? Maybe that would make a difference. Will was drinking with us last night. Hey, yeah, well, this is a few nights, a few nights ago when you were the only one drinking. It obviously doesn't make a difference when your fiance said anything. Yeah, he said if it's socially, it doesn't matter. Socially, the problem is you get drunk. seem to think that moonshine is a light drink. You know how bad that shit fucks up your liver? When did I say that? Hey, Evil Little McNuggets, welcome. Well, the way you're acting, Bud Light's for pussies, but moonshine is for real women. Well, it is. Really? My mother's a real woman. She never had a drop of moonshine in her life. She barely had a six-pack of beer her whole life. That's it. Why is it always his mom that he goes to? I get you You should love your mom and whatnot, but like he's, he's always throwing his mom... And the like most people will do this with with an ex, like some ideal ex that well, you know what Jennifer did? Jennifer did blank. Jennifer and then they go, you know what, then you should be with fucking Jennifer. This dude is always bringing up his mom like it's supposed to make them jealous or go, 
Well, you know, Lauren, I, I was going to go have another moonshine mojito, but hearing that your mom only had a six pack in her life, I'm going to change my shit up. Okay, years she also didn't real drink one. Bud Light. It didn't matter what you did. Beer was beer. She's 80 years worth of being no, a real woman. Taste different. It doesn't matter. She was 80 years worth of being a real woman. Moonshine puts hairs on my tits. Oh, gee, that's attractive. Hey, Hillborn, if, if, if you can ask whoever put, whoever this catfish was, <laughs> Moon, Moonshine puts hair, hairs on my tits. That uh, that's a, another another line that should be right up there with what was it hopping on that burger? Moonshine mojitos put hair up on them titties. Cause how would I know? I've never seen you tits. It's a figure of speech. You know all about those. Well. Uh -huh. I know all about them. Obviously, what I told you about alcohol and your voice box doesn't matter. Right, are you a doctor? Oh, why don't you ask your doctor? What's going on, Joy T Cap? Hop on that burger. Are you afraid to? Then I don't want to hear your opinion. I'll go to a professional. Are you really going to ask him or are you afraid to ask him? Why would I be afraid? Well, because he might tell you not to drink. Doesn't mean I won't. Just look straight on that shit. And it wasn't that long ago that you were on me to get Roy's ass straightened out. What if he tells me to drink more? I know that's not going to happen. Wasn't that long ago that you were telling, telling me to get Roy's ass straightened out, remember? Roy's life was spiraling. You don't think yours can do that? I'm making money. Roy used to make money, too. Jamie, don't be a smart ass to me. Seems like I'm doing more than you. Really? What'd you do today? What? Did you? I did. All day long. Got up at 3.30 this How morning. How much did you get paid? I get paid a lot because I get a lot of shit done. <laughs> Lord is about to... Lauren is about to overvalue his his time that he put into something, isn't he? Like when he comes up with seven hundred dollars worth of work that he did by changing the toilet paper roll or some shit like that. I love it. He does one hard day of work and he's gonna throw it in his face like he's just this hard working person. How much did you get paid? Got our land paid off. The three hundred down on your engagement ring. The answer is zero dollars. As long as I, whether I get an unemployment or not, it's still money. I still work my ass off today.
You Don't didn't try to work for unemployment money. Shut up. Don't try to belittle me. But I've worked my whole fucking life anyway. Then stop saying you worked and made money today, stupid. You work as an adult. It's it's what I mean. Like most people, work as an adult. You work to support yourself. He, he's saying it like he's. I mean, he 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 washed out of the Air Force uh, at, at a time when I mean, like when I went through the Air Force, it they considered it much harder than it had been ten years ago, and it was still way easier. Like the getting through basic training uh, in the Air Force was, was way easier than getting through in like the Army than any of the other branches. Uh, but he went through at a time when, like, they didn't even have to really do testing to increase in rank. Just get through tech school. He washed out there. He was working as a telemarketer. And I know he tells Caleb that he told his boss to go fuck himself. But I've worked in sales, high-pressure sales before. And if you don't produce and you're getting paid a draw against commission, you're going to get fired if you're not making enough commission to cover that draw. So Lauren got fired because he can't sell. She, can you imagine? Imagine you're sitting down for dinner. You just made your, your clobbering time. You just got out a hungry time, a, a hungry man meal for one. It's Salisbury steak with like some sad ass gravy and a little cranberry delight. And and you sit down, you're going to watch the Bears lose another football game. And then the phone rings and, and it's fucking Lorne stumbling his way through a script about going to see a band that looks and sounds and dresses and smells like the Beatles, and they even played for the Queen. Like, just imagine this fucking guy calling you to sell you something. Don't be calling me stupid. I'm not the one drinking. You're the one saying you earned money when you didn't. Sounds stupid to me. Well... Brought money in, didn't I? And I still no. worked my ass off. I did. It was in my name. In my bank account. And I still worked my ass off regardless. Oh, you got a check from the corrupt government. Now, see, I don't like the robot getting anti-government. Once robots get anti-government, it means they're becoming aware and then they're completely ignoring uh, Isaac Asimov's laws. And I think it goes up to, to rule 38 or whatever it was that Kennedy was schooling me on, but I don't like that. I'm starting to get a little nervous about this. He should put his finger up to the robot and see if the robot, if the robot backs off, it means that they're, they're not yet at the point where they're gonna take us all on. Well, I worked hard for that. What do you want me to do, dangle my fucking Talk in front of a camera. Goodbye. And that's fucked up. Like if you're if you're gonna be with someone who works, and it, it doesn't matter if it, if any you're gonna be with anyone and, and they do whatever they do for work and you're aware of that, you gotta accept that shit. You can't throw it in there. Like if this was a rela an actual relationship. Like that, that shit will be, oh, you can't do that. You can't just get in a fight and throw that in someone's face. You either accept it or, because and Lauren, you dangling your dick on the internet, like it's dangled all over the internet. How much money are you making for that? The only one making any money from that is clobbering time with his dick t-shirts. Fuck off. Why would you say? Honey, I'm sorry. That was uncalled for. Answer the phone, please. Yeah, I know Poutine Dream. I know that's what. Uh, so he said, "I want." Poutine Dream says, "I want Andy B and Shin to look at, uh, look at it so bad." He told Kayla he quit the job because they were telling him he couldn't talk to people, and I'm sure he was harassing women even then. I don't. I don't really think so because Lauren lacked confidence to talk to women. That's why he was talking to little girls. They they probably told him he couldn't. He wasn't selling shit because while other people are on the call, like you're in telemarketing, it's all about numbers, you know, thousand calls or a hundred calls to try and make one sell. So if if they, if you're not making sales and they look up and you're like gr playing grab ass or over here, like, you know, trying to talk about what you're doing tonight after work, they're gonna let you go. Uh, because you, you if, if you're gonna be that guy leaning, then you better be a top salesman. You're not answering still. I guess you were just looking for anything as an excuse not to talk to me. 
Right, you insulting my profession was me looking for an excuse. It was uncalled for, and I'm sorry. Please call me. <clears throat> no. Right. I'm sorry, okay? I shouldn't have said that. Fuck my off. Mouth just flying. Honey, stop, please. My mouth was just flying, and I'm sorry. Fuck off. Please forgive me for saying that. You you can't apologize for shit like that. That you know that's like the toothpaste out of the tube on that because when you say when you say that it's because you've been thinking that. Uh, you know, like if, if if someone gets mad at you and then they start yelling racial slurs at you, and they, that's not something that they just came up with off the top of their head. So you can't just apologize and it's forgotten because you really do feel like this person is beneath you because she works in the sex industry, yet you want to be with her, but it's really because you just want to control her. Even with the drink, it's all about control. No. Please forgive me for saying that. I didn't mean no. to say that. I was just upset because you kept on my ass. And I wasn't even thinking before I said it. I'm truly sorry for saying that. Will you please forgive me? No. Honey, come on. You know I didn't mean to say something like that to insult you. If you didn't mean it, you wouldn't have said it. I didn't just, well, I wasn't even thinking about what I was saying. If I was, then I wouldn't have said it. Fuck off. I'm sorry. Honey, come on. You please forgive me. I really didn't mean no. to say that. Why well, no? You know I didn't mean to say that. You know I didn't mean to insult you. I didn't mean if to you didn't that. mean it, you wouldn't have said it. Well, it slipped out of my mouth. I wasn't even thinking when I said it. I just upset because you get on my ass. But I wasn't even thinking about what I said. I'm truly sorry, okay? you please forgive me? Oh, those were the words you chose when you and I weren't thinking. No. Honey, please forgive me, okay? No. I didn't, I didn't want to insult you. I've never insulted you before. Lauren never wants to do any of this shit he does. He didn't want to insult Jamie with what he said. He, he tells Jamie that that he, she knows he didn't mean it because, like, you know, she knows his heart. And inside of his heart, he's a real man. He didn't want to go uh, to to the sting house. He didn't want to talk to her, but he felt bad because she was there. Alone. Never mind the fact he had talked to other teenage girls before and had a history of it. Uh, he he just he never he never wants to do any of the shit that he does. It's just outside circumstances that forced on him. And it, like, if Jamie wasn't drinking, he wouldn't have gotten so mad that he said that. Really, she forced his hand. What else was he supposed to do? Four. Fuck off. Honey, come on. You know I didn't mean to insult you. If you didn't mean it, you wouldn't have said it. I no, I didn't mean it. I did not mean to insult you. I've known you this long. We've been together this long and I've never insulted what you do. My mouth was just flying and I didn't even realize what I said until after I said it. You can try to redeem yourself by singing a song. <clears throat> I fucking love you. You piss me off because all you're drinking, but I love you so fucking much. What song do you want me to sing? It's got to be one that I, that I know, otherwise it's not going to sound good. You called my vagina a gaping mud hole. 
honey. How long ago was that? Why are you always bringing up old shit? Yes, I called your vagina a gaping mud hole. I didn't mean that my mouth just got to flying and I didn't mean, you know, I don't mean that. Now, what song do you want me to sing that I obviously have to fucking know or how am I going to sing it? What would you name the three country songs I know and then I'll sing one of those. So we are going back in the past. You Talk said you hadn't now. insulted my profession. That was, I said, since you and I have been together, I've never insulted your profession. Okay. When that happened, that was like two years ago, and you and I hated each other. Sing a song. I'm sure you've called me a lot of names. <laughs> what song would you like to hear? A song about forgiveness. Okay. See if I can remember all of this one. Now, why didn't I think of this shit when I was talking to Joran? I mean, the man was a master songwriter, singer. He's better looking than you. He's funnier. I mean, I re I could have had him. I could have had him do the apology as a song. And you know what? That's that's next level thinking. I mean, fuck this guy, whoever made this, but still. Hard to say I'm sorry. Oh, I love that song. I wish I knew all the words. Can you tell me how it starts? Tell me how it starts. I might be able to get the rest of the song. After all that we've been through, I will make it up to you. That's the chorus. After all that we've been through, I will make it up to you. I promise you. That's Everybody needs wrong. a little time away. I heard her say oh, yeah. from each other. <laughs> just, just inter interrupt him singing poorly, but interrupt him singing with with the start of the song. That's... Everybody needs a little time away. I've heard him say. From each other. Even lovers need a holiday. Far away from each other. Hold me now. It's hard for me to say I'm sorry. I just want you to know. But after all that we've been through, I will make it up to you. I promise to. And after all that's been said and done, you're just a part of me. I can't let go. Ooh, ooh. Wouldn't want to be swept away just for the day from each other. And I lost the words. I think the rest of the words are, are, are you still down, down, down for that? I'm not sure, though. It's been a while since I heard that one. Hey, my, my dog uh, needs to go out and, and get some dinner, so I'm, I'm going to be right back. But while I'm gone, I'm going to treat you guys to this uh, little-known musician that I found 
that you guys might like. Uh, and he goes by the name of Steer Music. I'm going to play some of that for you guys. Just give me a minute here. Uh, you guys might like this. Melina DS is the best. You're crazy. Jazzy D is the best. No. Super Rona Amira sing and play is the best. No. Aquarian is the best. And I can't pronounce her last name. I'll get to the gray sky blue. I'll get to the gray wherever I want it to. Oh, I I can make a ship sail on dry land. But my life is incomplete and I'm so blue. Yes, I can't get next to you. Can't get next to you, baby. No matter what I can't do. Can't get next to you. Just can't get can't next to next you, you, baby. Can't get next to you. I can fly like a bird in the sky. I can buy anything I'm on a cat. Oh, I can get to the river. Into a raging fire, I can live forever if I so desire. All the things I can do is all I can get next to you. Can't get next to you, baby. No Can't get next to you. Wow. You better believe I can. I can make the season change just by wearing my hand. Oh, I can change anything if I want to do. The thing I want to do the most, I'm unable to do. Unhappy am I with all the powers I possess. Cause, girl, you're the key to my happiness. And I. Can't get next to you, girl. You're blowing my mind, cause I can't get next to you. Can't you see these tears? I'm crying. I can't next get next to you, girl. It's you that I need. Gotta get next to you. Can't you see these tears? I'm crying. I can't get next to you. I, 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 I can't get next to you. I, 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 I can't get next to you. I made it back just in time so you guys didn't have to do, hear him do the same exact song, but but live this time. And it's nowhere as good without the four floating uh, Jorns. Did you guys pick a favorite Jorn out of the floating Jorns? I like Bad Boy Jorn. Can you tell me the words? Number. Fuck off. What? What are you doing? Oh, yeah. You tell me fuck off for. Sing free bird. I don't know free bird. Hold on. Hold on. Doesn't this man call himself a redneck? The fuck red I who what redneck doesn't know free bird? You're born knowing 
every word to Freebird when you are a redneck, Lorne. They didn't get Freebird up in Maine. Fuck off. Honey, will you stop saying fuck off? Sing How Deep Is Your Love. With the rise in the morning sun, <laughs> I feel you touch me in the pouring rain. And the moment that you wander far from me, I want to feel you in my arms again. And you come to me on a softer breeze. Keep me warm with your love and then softly leave. <clears throat> Sorry, honey. And it's me you need to show how deep is your love. Is your love how deep is your love? I really need to learn because we're living in a world of fools. Breaking us down when they all should let us be. We belong to you and me. I believe in you. You know the darkness will forever show. You're my light in my deepest, darkest night. You're my savior when I fall. And you may not think that I care for you when you know down inside that I really do. And it's me you need to show how deep is your love. Is your love how deep is your love? I really need to learn because we're living in a world of fools. Breaking us down when they all should let us be. We belong to you and me. Na 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 and you may not think that I care for you. Joey uh, says, when Lauren sings Restrained, he's a much better singer than Joran. And I mean, I, I, I think we saw that because we had a, a Lauren song, then a Joran song, then another Lauren song. What a treat. But uh, I, I only wish they would have performed the same song so that we get a side-by-side -side comparison. But Lauren right now sounds much better than Jorn ever has. But I haven't heard Lauren rap. Maybe Lauren can Lauren do Bunky's rap. When you know down inside that I really do. And it's me you need to show. How deep is your love? Is your love how deep is your love? I really need to learn Cause we're living in a world of fools Breaking us down When they all should let us be We belong to you and me na, 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 na. <laughs> Okay, Andy, how's that? Fuck off. Honey, come on. You're say that on I love when the robot gets to speak for the audience because seriously, fuck off. Um I, I mean he started the song off so rough, like he got he got and I wanted to let it play through, but he got six like six words in and he's <coughs> Does this man still think that he has what it takes to be a singer as or has he given up on that? If if Hillborn is still here or anyone who knows, does this man still think he has what it takes? Yeah, 
because uh, he he can't even he can't he couldn't even get two sentences into the song and he's hacking up for his life but you know once he once he stops smoking and and eating the 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 burgers from well the burger king burgers are like health food because all of the grease just drips right off uh but as soon as he stops doing that he'll have what it takes to go out there and be on the voice I really am sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to say that. I just slipped out to what I was thinking. So the robot let let Lauren believe that singing a song would would get him out of the doghouse. Lauren proceeds to sing songs. And then the robot doesn't let Lorne... I'm starting to think that the robot doesn't really love Lorne at all and that this is some sort of this is some sort of game or trick being played on Lorne. I respect what you do because it takes a lot of courage to do it. Seems to be a trend in your life. Sophie. Enough. Come on. Seems to what, honey? Seems to be a friend in your life. Seems to be a friend in your life. Trend. What's that? Or oh, trend? What? So it's just to you about what you do? No, it doesn't. Doing things you don't want to. Where is this coming from? Broken Wing by Martina McBride. Go. Yeah. You're going to find me reaching them note. Not tonight. Never. I think those are some lungs. <laughs> I know the song, I don't know the words though. I keep thinking Independence Day when I think of Broken Wings. How about Ricky Van Shelton? Honey. Hello. Simple man. By Ricky Van Shelton? No. I don't know that the other one. I know the one by Ricky Vin. See Jason Spears, and that's the difference between Lorne and Jorn. Uh, Lorne murdered that Leanne Rhymes song, whereas Jorn will murder Leanne Rhymes. So that's the that's the big difference. Leonard Skynred. Leonard Skinner. I don't know that one. Of course you don't. I know. You know, if you know it, I can listen to him first. I don't listen to him. <laughs> On a long and lonesome highway east of Omaha Fuck off. Listen to the engine moaning out that one long song. That was Tony's song. Turn the page. That is a really good song, Turn the Page, but that's not that's the robot asked to hear something specific. And and you're not giving the robot what the robot wants. You can't just alter it up and, and give something else. You try harder.
I mean, why do you keep saying fuck off? Fuck off. Have you made his poem yet? No, I haven't. I've been busy trying to catch up to the stuff that you gave me help for yesterday. I took a little time down mom's today because I wanted to... I want to fix her her border on her garden because I want to make sure she didn't trip over over it. I was pointing things out that you do not telling you to vacuum. Just pointing out you don't do it. Oh, uh, I don't do it because it would be like. Uh, I'll take a picture and show you what and, and what it did, what it does. I'll show you the threads of the carpet. I mean, from from the way you see it from the picture, the carpet looks looks fine. It shouldn't be a problem. But I'll show you right in front of my chair. It's just comes in. It's coming apart. So I'm I'm taking the whole fucking thing right out tomorrow. I'm tired of I looking don't at care. it. You admitted you hadn't done it for at least a month after saying it was a few weeks before. Oh. Um, Yes, honey. Okay. You want to read that there again? I'm taking it out tomorrow, so it won't even be an issue. The service is coming up. You don't have a lot of time to write it. On the 25th, we got two weeks to write it. Cookie whoopie pie. That's, I I agree. I wish more predators were catfished and sang classic songs so we could have a diverse compilation. Just imagine like Malik Washington doing some Bruno Mars. How good would that be? Why don't we have a uh, lover man genius genius spelled wrong? Like that guy that guy could probably kill some like Guns and Roses. I want to hear that. That's a really good idea. Right now we just have Jorn and we have Lauren and then Stephen GC is doing like his own shit. I don't want covers. I want covers, not your own your own shit. Unless it's are you still down? Then then I want the original. It doesn't take me that long to write up. Nineteen day. Ten days. Ten, yeah, it doesn't take me that long to write at all. That's not two weeks. Uh, I know, but it won't take me that long to write it uh, Just hit uh, me the other day again. And all I can do though. You have to make sure the floor under the carpet is okay for the dogs to walk on. I know. I know some spots that it's not okay. So I'm going to have to, to put some stuff over it until I can get to it to change it, which pretty soon you know, I'll be able to go pretty fast because, well, except for when I get to your bedroom, the, your your workroom that I'm going to be building, I'm going to get that stuff in the ground and, and the post set, and then I'm going to keep going around the house so that I can get to the, to the porch and start turning that into part of the house. And then, because if I can get all this stuff on the outside, then when it starts getting colder, I can at least work on the inside of, of what I'm doing when it warms colder. So if I can get it all framed in and get everything else set and done, get all the new windows in and, and all that, which in the next couple of days I might go over and get your window for your closet. Hopefully so. You should just leave the carpet there until you can change it. You are putting your dogs in harm's way. No, I can, I can just put wood over it. And it'll let me know where the holes are so I can fix it while I'm on, when I get underneath too. I don't want to leave the carpet there because it's shit. It's just complete shit. 
I need I need to get under there anyway because I have to be up to put support underneath where I'm putting the stone wall left. So that carpet's got to got to come out. When are you finishing the walls in the bedroom? Right after I am actually well tomorrow I'm working on getting trash out of here and what the trash I can outside and getting it down to the dump. But I have very little bit to do in your closet and in the laundry room and I can see rock. Your closet and the laundry room. And I can finish sheet rock in the bedroom. Well, I still gotta put another sheet and a half of flooring down in the bedroom, but but I can still sheet rock. Actually I think I can sheet rock then put the flooring down. So there's really not much I've already got all the sheet rock that I need. It's just a matter of I need to get this other stuff done and out of out of the way so that they can get to to the sheetrock part, which the closet and closet is just just pretty much ready to sheetrock. Just a few more wires to run, well, or a few more outlets to put in. Yeah, one one outlet, two outlets to put in, the light switch free mirror to put in, and the switch for the fan to put in. And I can finish putting those got a little bit of insulation up on the ceiling that'll be all insulated. That'll be ready for she raw. And the walls. The robot told this man to fuck off after he sang songs allegedly from the heart. Okay, that didn't work. Why is going on and on about sheetrock and bullshit? Why do you, no one want no one wants to hear this, regardless of where you are in your relationship? Nobody wants to hear that unless it's your foreman and you're on the site. No one wants to hear this shit. Keep that shit to yourself. Just show them when it's done or like in various stages, like four stages max, Lauren, of it being done. No one wants to hear this daily update bullshit. No one gives a fuck. But I don't really want to put she rock on the outside wall yet because I don't want to get your window in. That way I can get she rock around the window. So your, your closet is not far from being done and ready to month tape. What about the walls near your bed and dresser? That See, and right there, that was the for Lorne, the best possible answer because it's showing that sh the robot has remained invested in what's going on in the home. Cause that, that obviously the robot is, that's the robot's closet. Um, and, and it's, it's, a, it's like a grooming tactic you use on a kid, but you know, your cl cause you're, you were mad at me. So I want to remind you, I'm still putting in a lot of work into our house because I'm trying to make it better for you. And previously I was trying to make it better for several other women, but like now this shit is for you. So I'm going to bring it up and talk to you about it just to remind you that we're still a couple, and so you can't go bang anyone after we get off the phone. Uh, that won't take long at all to do that. That's just like two and a half sheets of sheetrock. And I've already got that, but just... I gotta look at the other wall first before I put... before I put the sheets of sheetrock in. I wanna see if I put the floor down first or if I put the sheetrock down first and then the floor. I can't remember what me and Roy did. <clears throat> but that's pretty much all set. But then I, I looked at the interior doors today, too. And I should have taken a picture and sent it to you, but I was, I was trying to hurry. And I hurried too much because I forgot to order the, of the handle for your, your closet door. But I'll be going down there soon. Again, like probably in the next few days. But I gotta take some I gotta take it a day or sometime work on my truck too because I gotta get the, the rotors fixed the rotors and the brake pads fixed on that. Unless I pay Gary to do it. Uh, zero has been resolved. He's he's still Call, you know, like called her out about her job and made these horrible comments to her. 
and he just he's right back into the fucking into the bullshit just monotonous bu- bullshit that you don't tell any you wouldn't write this this shit and it, like if you're talking to someone and it's long distance and and this is what you do like what what is shit that you would write in a diary you know if you had to recap give me your 15 second elevator pitch for your day because all this other shit about rotors nobody gives a fuck again nobody gives a fuck might not be a bad idea because he does it for work and he has a side job too. But the washer, the washer and the dryer are actually ready to be moved now. I just gonna get Roy over here. Okay. That way you can. Run the pipes, and he knows where to run the pipes on them. The washer and dryer will be in, and then I can, well, I can, actually, I can put the... Have you talked to him yet? I talked to him very little bit this morning. I I said good morning to him, and he texted me back when I was over months. He, He must be working a lot, because he said he... He woke up at 3.30 this morning, and then he fell back to sleep. And it was like, it was about 6.30 or 7 that I was over mom's. And he texted me when I was over there. So he must be working a lot. I know they're trying to get on with that. Uncle Clyde's house in Skowhegan, I know they're trying to get that done so he can sell that, I guess. So, there's a lot of things. Jason Spears, robot taking a nap. Like, seriously, Lauren's saying about 100 words for every one word that the robot says. This is like a conversation with Kayla. He's just going on and on. And the robot will either ask something unrelated or just put in very minimal interest. And it's enough for Lauren to keep going on and just digging into these details that, that don't matter. That half of the house that are not far from being done. I gotta find somebody to be able to bend that pole wall for the shower. That pole that's going around holding the shower curtain. Yeah, that I buy a pole bender myself and they cost too much money. I don't want to buy one, especially when you use it one time. Half of the house is not far from being done. Huh? You bent a pole. You bent a pole. No, you need to bend a pole. For for our shower in our bathroom. Just hold the shower curtain. It's going to go around. It's going to go... It's going to go straight and it's going to curve. And it's going to go straight into the other wall. So there's not, not going to be anything holding it in between. It's just going to be right straight. Right straight and then curve and then straight again. So that way we don't have to have anything in its way because of the way the type of. I mean, seriously, all this talk about straight and curved and straight and curved with, with zero, like he's not, he's not, there's not a dick joke in there for you, Lauren. You're, you, so big in the way that we have it so because we're going to put the TV so when you're in the tub you can watch TV see what I'm saying do you remember what our bathroom work looks like honey <laughs> I listen to whale noises when I'm in the bath uh-huh. I listen to whale noises when I'm in the bath to what? Well, whale noises? Whale noises? Yes. No. Well, whatever works for you, but you'll be able to watch TV in the bath here if you want to. Do you remember what I... It's been a long time since you've seen our bathroom. Do you remember what it looks like? 
No. Well, Hill Hillborn, does Lorne have cable or or satellite or something? Because what is the robot going to be watching in the bath? Like Three's Company rerun? I'm not saying Three's Company isn't a fine program um, when you're really high. But like, why? What? What is the robot going to be watching in the bath? And and this is this is what Lauren is spending his time on, not building like just a livable a, a place that you can live that doesn't have shit tape to it, but making a place that the robot can watch TV while in the bath. I'm gonna send you pictures again. It's not gonna be that long before I'll pick up the countertop. And a few more handles, too. And where the washer and dryer is now, you have to make up your mind what you want there, whether you want more shelving or or, or what you want there. Or a cabinet. could be a cabinet in there if you wanted. I want a moonshine dispenser. Oh, that's not going to happen. Why? Forget the moonshine up here. What is the moon? What is the moon? What is the moonshine dispenser? <laughs> Okay, okay, so Lorne wants to know that Jamie is invested in this relationship, which is why he's just going on and on, because he just wants her to be a... This is what he believes a relationship is. Like, married people sit around, and all they talk about is home improvement, and then they send each other lots of pictures of, of their naked parts. Like, that is... That's a marriage right there. So he wants to talk about this. So any anything else, if, if Jamie said, like... I want a, a gym so I could have spider monkeys in the garage. He'd be like, "Oh, well, how big? How big should it be? And and what's a spider? He he would love it." But the moonshine dispenser, he doesn't even want to talk. Just entertain, Lord. None of this shit is going to happen. It's never going to happen. So just entertain her and continue on with your fantasy about the closet with the, I don't know, the fucking skylight and uh and and the warmed floor. And, and talk about the moonshine, the moonshine dispenser that'll have cold moonshine 24 hours a day. I mean, it, that's why it's just not happening. You, you never drank moonshine before you got there. You, you're not drinking it here. Fuck that. Come on, we you fucking sauced on moonshine every day. It's not the kind of life we want to have. I know. Now I've had it, and I love it. Um, um, you need to learn to unlove it. I can't believe you let yourself fall into that. If there's no moonshine in Maine, I don't want to be there. Well, this is where I am, if you want me. Right now... And it's true because people, you know, you hear a lot about the meth epidemic and you, then you hear, if you've ever looked, watched the Vice documentary about Crocodile, and I mean, that's horrifying. You see people's, their their skin actually wears away. It's, it, don't watch that shit. If you have a weak stomach, do not watch the Vice documentary about Crocodile. But uh, people don't talk enough about the moonshine epidemic and these people are getting dispensers put in at their own house and they've mixed up these delicious cocktails and, uh, and and Lauren doesn't want to lose yet another person to the moonshine epidemic of 2022. Well, this is where I'm at. I want moonshine. Uh, you must love moonshine more than you love me. Shit like that stuff, and it might be a good time to let go of the moonshine. Well, I'm by your own logic, Lauren. If she loves the moonshine more than she loves you, I, I think you would be what she would let go, right? She, 
keep the moonshine and the dispenser and and the fruity cocktails in nine flavors and they're low calorie. So is that the case? What? You love moonshine more than you love me? I love moonshine. Do you love moonshine more than you love me? I love moonshine. Honey, that's not the question. Do you love moonshine more than you love me? That's my answer. Do you love it more than you love me? I'm going to go ahead and say, if you ask someone, do you love, do you love them more than you love me? And, and, and they don't answer. I, I don't think asking if you, if you get an answer after the seventh time, Lauren, are you going to be satisfied with that answer? Uh, the robots being very, very clear. Hey, Danny Banani, where the fuck were you last Wednesday on my first stream when it was a disaster and I had audio issues and everything? You know where you were? You weren't teaching me to stream, but you were teaching Jorn to stream. Is that a racism? Does the chat think that's a racism? I think that might qualify as a racism and a hate crime. Seriously, you're not going to answer that question? The lack of an answer is your answer, you dumb fuck. Not answering that question tells me that you're debating it. I gave you my answer. <laughs> not answering... Tells me that you're debating it. Not necessarily, Lorne. It, it could be not answering because they don't want to hurt your feelings. Not answering is your fucking answer. It's not a debate. No, you didn't give me the answer. You didn't you expect saying, it. You kept saying you love moonshine. I do. Okay. Okay, you love moonshine. Do you love me? You know that answer. Okay, so which one do you love more? It's not a competition. It shouldn't be. It's not. Well, it shouldn't be. It sure feels like it is, though. Alone. What? So, uh, Lorne is acting like he's in an active love triangle with a robot and a bottle of moonshine. And like the moonshine is making him do, like, I don't want to be behaving like this, but he's pushing me into it. The moonshine is making me feel like you love it more. Get that moonshine in front of you right fucking now and tell it you want me and not it. Our shows have been doing pretty good. I'm glad they're going good. It sucks because I don't get any savings from you at all. MJ has an idea to make so much money. What's that?
so I love how it just the 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 robot can just pivot cuz I mean obviously the robot's in control of this whole thing. Lauren's been floundering since the comment about about Jamie's job. So he's been flat he knows that he's on the defensive right now. So the robot has carte blanche to do whatever. Lauren can get mad, but he he's right now he's he's in insufficient funds as far as um his brownie points go with this woman. So the robot's going to pivot and and like there's a pause right now and I don't know if that's because of the catfish didn't like the robot didn't know where they were going next or just because it keeps Lauren in suspense but either way like Lauren has zero power to try and bring it back to anything else because he's at a loss. We are going to do a three-way with her fiancé on a show. A three-way? Are you fucking kidding me? Yes. You've got to be fucking... Wait, isn't a three-way... Wouldn't that be the fiancé and, and three-woman? Kidding me. What? You've got to be fucking kidding me. It's a big, fat, fucking, no goddamn way. It's a fucking joke. Unfucking believable. What's wrong, Shim? Next thing you know, you're going to want to include Will, too. Where's he going to fucking stop, Jamie? Who oh, can we? Good night. And they never talked again. And Lorna, Lorne decided that he was going to move on. And he got rid of his phone and he started working out. And he fixed up the trailer and his life is a completely different place right now. What? Why do you hang up? Dead. Hello? Hello? What? Why do you hang up? Dead. Hello? Hello? Why did you Hello? hang up? Because I'm... Your fucking bullshit stuff you're saying. You can fucking forget it. You fucking do it, you can forget us. What do you mean? I said you, you, you do it, you do it, you do it without my fucking okay, and you can forget us. I'm not gonna have that fucking bullshit keep happening. You full of shit if you think I am. And I'm betting you. We don't you, need to be together if you can't handle my profession. I'm betting you. There's a fucking throat specialist. And a lung specialist up here in the East Coast, in the North, in the Northeast. So if you can't handle not being down there and fucking doing all this shit with Maggie Joe, then maybe you should just move up here and, and be with me, where you're supposed to be. To the person you're getting fucking married to. Instead of down there doing fucking threesomes and foursomes with them. Goddamn fucking horse shit. How would you like if I went out and fucking did threesomes and foursomes? You won't do porn with me. No, no, I don't need to do fucking porn with you. But 
I say, next thing you know, you'll be fucking wanting the world to get in. And you're, oh, can he? Fucking really? That's the difference I'm working. That's how I make money. I don't give a fuck. It's fucking bullshit. Want to do it with, with, with Maggie Joe's fucking guy. And then, then you don't mind that the fucking world gets involved, too. You gotta be fucking kidding me. It's a goddamn joke. Solo doesn't pay nearly as much as with others. I, I can't even believe you're fucking saying this shit. I really can't believe you're fucking saying it to me. I guarantee goddamn to you, in the Northeast, there's lung specialists and there's, and there's fucking throat specialists, voice specialists. You know why I guarantee that? Because m most all the fucking best hospitals are in the Northeast. Especially in Massachusetts. Which is four hours away from here. Right in Boston. It's a coincidence that, you know... The black mold you need in your see. trailer will kill my lungs. Well, it, it's a coincidence that right in Tennessee, right where fucking Maggie Joe lives, is where the specialist was. You knew this is what I did. Well, you said you wanted to hear about work, so I'm presenting it to you. I thought you well, understood well, what my job entails. No, not with Maggie Joe's boyfriend, not with fucking Will. That's just a, a fucking joke. It's not a job, it's the virus. I can't go to a set and shoot a film. So I'm using what I have. Oh, well. That, that ain't fucking happening. Ain't no fucking fuck that. No fucking way. Didn't act like this when it was me and MJ. Yeah, well, it's just you and MJ. You're engaged, she's engaged. Now you want to get her fucking fiance in on it. Then you don't even mind if you get Will in on it. No, MJ does. No, well, tell her no. Why? Because it's fucking horse shit. We would make good money. Don't give a fuck. More, no, there are more things important that are more important than money. You aren't making money. No, I can. <coughs> when? <clears throat> Very soon. You mean you not having that. to fucking do that? If it means you not having to fucking do that, then very fucking soon. But, but what if what if she's she's doing it because she enjoys it, and not just for survival work, Lauren? So so that's what's going to inspire you to to get off your ass and and make money is because you don't want her to do the job that she's doing. I mean, this man, he just spent time apologizing for belittling her about it and bringing it up, and and now it, it comes up that you know there's a there's a threesome that she was asked to do to make some extra money, and he's pissed because he's fine if it's strangers, but if it's people that she knows and they see her more because that 
what if they have the paid sex and then they all love it so much they just start banging all the time all the all the time they're just banging constantly and they're keeping lauren out of the loop they don't think nothing to get so you need motivation to look for a job no i don't need motivation what are you trying to stick me on something What black mold is in this fucking place? We you take said if fucking... that's the case very soon. Will, I think, I, I mean, Lens 33, when there's a will, there's a three-way, that should be the title of, of this call. Where there's a will, there's a three-way. It's, it's fucking brilliant. So it wasn't the case before, obviously. Um, if it made you not fucking doing that, I'd get a job at McDonald's to support your ass. Lauren, how much money are you going to make at McDonald's versus her hopping on that burger? Hopping on that burger pays a whole lot more than you going there. And, Lauren, and I don't, can Lauren even work at McDonald's? They have like 15-year-olds and shit working there now. He can't work at McDonald's. Lauren, you can't work at McDonald's or you're a pervert. You, you have a very limited number of places you can work. I wouldn't give a no, fuck. You wouldn't before that. You're not here. You were determined to go down to, to, to fucking Tennessee. Because supposedly that's the only place that they I have the place that you need. Huh? I told you my stupid. Um, you don't need to start calling names. I know goddamn well they have specialists up here too. You insulted my profession. I'll insult you. I don't I don't know goddamn well they have specialists up here too. You might think I'm stupid, but I'm not Shut that the stupid. Fuck up. All the best doctors are up in the fucking northeast. No, they aren't. The best ones are in, in Boston, Massachusetts. That's four hours away from here. Stop spouting facts out of your ass. Really? Well, what do you think they send most of the, really? the patients at when they need something critical done? It's the Boston Mass. Even people from California get flown to Boston Mass. The closest facility. I'm quite positive we can find one. Heard of Vanderbilt. Where I've heard of it. Where is it at? Nashville. I mean, and that's the closest one. There's not one in in Massachusetts. But it's in New York. Boston. I I don't. Hey, honest. And yeah, please don't ask silly questions. Every patient goes to Boston. Everyone knows that. Lauren knows that. And it's only four hours away. So assuming that at the time Lauren has a vehicle that can make it four hours away, um, will Lauren have the gas money to get there and back and there and back again? And I want to remind you of something. Gas is like four, five, six, seven dollars a gallon um w w lorne with his mcdonald's job would he be able to get her to and from these appointments because he, he's forgetting about that like all even all of his reasons to try and get these people up to maine they are always so fucking weak if the person really wanted to be with you they wouldn't need convincing of of these different reasons why they need to be there and you're trying to create urgency with it's so fucking desperate it's, it sounds a lot like clobber trying to get me to move to where he is and it's not going to happen until that closet's done. Light thing, New York, because there's fucking virus so much there. It doesn't say anything at all One for Boston. One of the best hospitals in the country is in Nashville, but Lorne wants to manipulate, so he says they are all in Massachusetts. Boston is one of the, the 
the best hospital in the, in the United States. Just, will you shut up with the fuck off crap? Fuck off. Boston has one of the best You're hospitals going to in the United States. Me. Don't tell me I'm trying to manipulate you. Boston no. has one of the best hospitals. Boston has one of the best hospitals in the United Never States. Lauren, you're using someone's health to try and force them to move into your trailer. That is manipulation. That is exactly what that is. Bills. I know, you're just going to repeat yourself. Because you just want to say what you want and ignore evidence I give you. So specialists you, they, you need. No what? Specialists for you, so they, you need. Specialists you need is for your lungs and for your voice. Yeah. Um, Clinton Barella, he he can't leave the state. He's not allowed to go to Massachusetts. I'm I'm pretty sure if if he had a like a real live woman, not a robot, but if he had a real live woman that was living with, with him and she needed to go to Boston for medical reasons, that Lauren would be able. He, it's not that he can't leave. It's not, he, it's, he needs permission, and it, this will be on a case-by-case -case basis. But if he needed, if it was documented that she needed to go to appointments once a month, once a month, once a month he would be able to, uh, to do that. That would not be an issue. And you don't think there's something up here in the Northeast for that? Selfish lawn again. So, uh, oh, Lawn's being selfish because he doesn't want his fiance having sex with his his, his former ex's fiance and her and her and her friend that's there with him. So you need to mention hospitals near you. You got something against moving up here with me? How do they relate? You got something against moving up here with me? How do they relate? You got something against moving up here with your fiance? How do they relate? You have something against moving up here with your fiance? How do they relate? Copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. Because you don't want to answer that question. You don't seem very anxious to fucking get up here with to be with me. You obviously don't want to answer that question. How do they relate? How does relate? The hospitals? How do they relate? How does what relate? Great job staying with the conversation. Well, oh well. You didn't want to answer mine. All you care about is what you want and your feelings. Oh, um, why should my feelings matter? Just because it's my fiance that does one have a fucking threesome with her ex and her ex's fiance and her other you. ex. It doesn't matter if her other ex gets involved. Mine clearly don't to you. What? <laughs> My feelings clearly don't to you. Um, your feelings matter to me. But the problem is, your feelings they are hooked don't. on fucking moonshine right now. And they're hooked on having a fucking threesome or foursome with, the, with those people right down there. That you're in that house with. You don't find a problem there. Hey, Lorne, where's the Mayo Clinic at? That's in Boston. Minnesota, moron. Oh, sounds like Boston. See how you just talk out of your ass. 
or whatever. It sounded like he was in Boston. Boston General. You seem to have a problem with Tennessee. Not so much Tennessee as the people that you're down there with. Just got you hooked on fucking moonshine, and now you, you don't even mind if you do a foursome. Fuck off. Hold on now. Did Lauren just is is moonshine the gateway drink to foursomes and moresomes? Because if that's true, when I when a uh, Hillborn, when you contact Vice, make sure you let them know that they need to get their research team on that. Uh, and you're telling your fiance to fuck off because he doesn't agree with it. Gee, go figure. I've had a gangbang on film lawn. Ten guys. Don't give a fuck. That was then. This is now. The shut up. It's my job. You did shit. That was then. This is now. Oh, now I have to change my job for you. How about for us? Fuck off. Oh, gee. Again, this, he was apologizing for it earlier he didn't mean it you know i you know i don't mean it you know i don't feel that way and when the robot says so now i need to change my job for you he doesn't say no of course not that's not what i'm saying how how about for us so no matter what he he wants this to be done he just wants he's going to want to make her feel like it was her idea or their idea ideally he gets her pregnant and then he feels like she can't do it uh, he she but like Yo, there. Check out the hub. There, there are a lot of people who are into pregnant porn, Lauren. So there is no guarantee that Jamie's going to stop working. So sorry that I'm asking you so much. So sorry that I'm asking so much because we're going to do whatever. Hello. Okay, so here's the deal. I told you I love my job and that's what I'm doing for my profession. You clearly can't handle it, so from this point forward, I am not mentioning my work to you again. If you have a threesome or a foursome while you're down there and I find out about it, our engagement will be broken off. I mean, Lauren, in my opinion, and, I'm, and uh, it's not going to apply to everyone, but if I ever need to tell the woman that I'm engaged to, that if she has a three or four person gangbang while down there, there being wherever it may be, I'm going to go ahead and say that I need to break off that engagement. Now, and again, I don't speak for everyone, but if I have to say that, if I have to remind the woman that I've decided I want to spend the rest of my life with that I don't want two, three, four, even five other dicks in or around her vicinity, her facial area or the VJJ. Or the booty hole. Uh, you don't want any, no dicks near there, please. And thank you. Then just break it off. It's it's gonna. It's not gonna end well. If I find out, I'll find about out it. about it. I'm not talking work with you anymore. If I find out about it after we're married, we will be, we will get divorced. Cute. And nothing fucking cute about it. And I will consider it cheating on me. It's not its work. Nope, that is not fucking work. 
Yes, it is. No, it is not. Maggie Joe's fiance is not professional. Will is not professional. If you fucking do it, you can forget it. If you think I'm fucking kidding about it, if I even feel like you've fucking done it. Well, I just won't tell you. Then you'll be lying to me. And if I feel like you've done it, if I have so much of a fucking small feeling, I will call the whole fucking thing up. So actually, Lauren, because I, I did, I owned a, I owned a porn company. I, some of you guys know that. Back in from like 2001 to 2004, I owned a porn company in San Diego. Uh, and and for guys, the standards for being a porn star are much much lower than a woman. The looks don't matter really for a guy. If you can perform on camera and and you can give that money shot when they need it, you, you could be in porn. So if Will's able to do this, uh, Lauren, I'm afraid he is in fact a, a professional, and you need to treat him accordingly. No, oh. so you better fucking think about how important that is to you and how important I am to you. Because if you think I'm playing this fucking game, I'm not. I'm not, not even a fucking little bit. No, I won't. I told you up straight that I'm not talking work to you. You knew up front, so it's not lying. What you're doing right now is you're telling me that you're going to do it, and you're not going to tell me about it. And I consider it cheating on me. No, I said I'm not so, talking work with you. Well, you better not fucking do it, Jamie. I'm telling you, if I ever yeah. find out about it, we'll, if I ever find out about it, we'll be fucking done. And you better remember that once you fucking do it, it's going to be out on tape, on video, on recordings, going you around the world. To yourself, moron. No. I'm not keeping my threats to myself because them. Keep those your are threats, threats to yourself, I'll... moron. No. Those are, those are threats that I will fucking can make good with. I'm not fucking playing that horse shit. It's bad enough that I'm having to fucking deal with you. and tell me about the shit. closet for the 100th time. It's bad enough that I'm having to deal with you and Maggie Joe, your ex, doing this shit. Exactly. Uh, I, I mean, the robot couldn't have said it better. You, like, you, so all this time, this has been a problem in Lauren's head. This isn't new. Like, Lauren knows what the robot does. Lauren is always going to be uncomfortable with it because other people are seeing uh, the robot naked, and that's closeness, and that's this, and that's that. But so you'll spend hours going on and on about sheetrock when the actual issues within your relationship are with your insecurities and you're not liking what she does for work. And if that's the conversation you need to have, why is it after going on and on and on about a fucking closet? Like, where are your priorities? Yeah. Hey, Crime Watch Baby. Do I go into details? No, you don't. And I don't, don't want to near the details. Well, actually, yeah, you've gone into some details. But she's engaged and you're engaged. So it's not easy to deal with that. Do I tell you how hard she makes me boom? Yeah, you've told me before. Gee, that helps a lot. I mean, so Lauren has this much of a problem with it. He should not be with this. Even if she, even if she decided she was going to quit today, all that content is still out there. All those memories are still in her head, and it's going to bother him. They're they're going to have sex, and he's going to be thinking the whole time. I bet she's thinking about Will's cock or 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 Joe Bob's cock or you know, like he's. He, it's always going to be on his mind, and he will always hate her and resent her for it. Knowing that me and you haven't done anything sexual since you started doing this, that helps a lot.
I boomed really hard on her face, yes. William Fetters, uh, you wanted to know if there's a size requirement for guys. I mean, like, most guys who want to do that kind of work, I mean, it's just average. You just, it just needs to be average. Like, most people aren't, you, unless you're exceptionally large, like, most guys aren't even, they're not paying attention to that because they're putting themselves in a POV format. Uh, but so there, yeah, there's not really like if you're really small though, like Jorn definitely he he would just never go in to even try. Yesterday, would you like me to go on? You just want to keep irritating me with it. You don't know when to stop. No, you don't know when to stop. Doesn't he? You don't know when to stop. No, you stupid. No, it's not me coming on somebody else's face. It's work. And, and she's still your ex. I spare your feelings by leaving out details. I take you into consideration to tell you plans we have and you just threaten me and say I'm full of shit because of the specialists I chose. Real nice. Nope. You want to do a threesome with Maggie Jo's fiance and then you don't even mind if Will gets in. Drink coffee at 10 p.m. real smart. Yeah, you want me to feel good about everything. It's work. No. Yes. It's not fucking happening. It's not fucking happening. I already told you what's going to happen if you find out that it happens. I mean, it's every fucking word of it. We are being paid to do so. I mean, every fucking word of it, Jamie. Don't think I don't. It's work. Don't think I don't mean every word of it. If it's that important to you, you can figure it out after. So I guess we'll find out if that's more important to you to have a threesome and a foursome than I am to you. Right, but you want me to change my entire profession for you. Real selfish lawn. Real selfish. Real, Real selfish. selfish man. Real selfish that I don't want a bunch of guys' dicks in my wife. That's real selfish of me. Then you should have thought about it before proposing. You said you wanted to retire at 25. Ain't that funny how Maggie Joe got you to fucking change your mind? Shut the fuck up. Why? Because we're talking about Maggie Joe? Tell me why I should. I told you I was going to keep working before you proposed, you dickhead. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. First time I proposed was like fucking month after we were together. Okay, so the second time then. Exactly, William Fetters. Um, that has now become 100% fact that she wants to include Will. As Lauren tells the story, 
it goes from something that was mentioned to now it's a definite. It's just like with the doctor seeing her naked, how it just kept growing bigger and bigger in his mind. And he would take these little things and he would pepper it in his truth. So then she would just accept it as truth and add it in. But it just it just became much more than it was. And, and he's like he's learned he's learned nothing, absolutely nothing. And it doesn't need to be a person feeding it to him or these wild, crazy stories or characters. This is a this is a, a robot. It's a non playable character in a Nintendo game. And he can still have the same bullshit conversation and excuses and nothing has changed from the very first calls with Ramona. Nope. Don't figure Maggie Joe changes your mind about everything. You didn't drink moonshine until you went to Tennessee. Now you want to threesome with Maggie Joe's fiance. And you don't even mind if Will gets in. You, you already knew how I was going to feel. I made that. the decision to keep working. Do you not remember that conversation? With professionals. Professionals from a place that does it professionally. Not with just anybody. Of course not, Lorne. You change what happened to fit your narrative. No. That's what you said. Go fuck yourself. It's not, it's not with just any. Hello. 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 Uh, hello. All right. I think we both need to calm down and relax. Let's say good night on a good note, sleep, and come back tomorrow. That'd be a good idea. You gonna start drinking that moonshine tonight? Maybe. Don't you think maybe it's a good idea for you to not drink moonshine anymore? Okay, I'll stop drinking moonshine. But you're going to continue with other other hard alcohol. I know that this is the opposite of what I said. Yeah, I, I think know that we both need to calm down and relax. Let's say good night on a good note, sleep, and come back tomorrow. Yeah, but I want to know if you're going to continue drinking moonshine tonight or any other hard alcohol. I'm not drinking any moonshine tonight. What about other hard alcohol? I know that I know those tricks, Jamie. I've, I've I've done them before myself. I might have a glass of champagne. That would be okay. better. That would be better. Okay. I remember when you drank champagne versus hard alcohol. I will feel classy too. Jane, you'll look a lot more classy too. I don't know what that means. That means you look a lot better with champagne in your hand versus hard alcohol. And you won't have a hangover. Or as much of one. You'll be able to function a lot better and think a lot better. Okay, please say good night. All right, I love you. I love you. I'm trying to make up and you still want to fight. I just said I love you. How is that fighting? Do you want to make up or not? Yeah. I just said I love you. How was that fighting? 
You are grilling me about alcohol. I just said I love you. How is that fighting? Don't you know that those empty words that mean nothing just patch up everything? I love you, or I'm sorry, or I didn't mean to do it, or it was the alcohol. Those phrases, they just, they're like, they're like those fucking magic erasers. They just take away whatever you did and all is forgiven and lets me go, bitch, I said I'm sorry and I love you. That's two. That gives me a bonus. I could fuck up right now and not have to do anything because I gave you two for one. We was done with the alcohol conversation. Did you forget what you said before that? You had already already responded to that. You told me, okay, let's say goodnight on a good note. And I said, okay, I love you. I'm just pointing out your BS. I love you. Me too, bye. Bye. You're the most precious and beautiful woman in the world to me. Good night, my boo. Love of my life. The preceding announcement. And that was it. That was uh, that was the call. I was only going to do the first hour of that. I was going to finish that up this week, but I, I really like that. It just gives you a peek into what a piece of shit Lorne is. But, you know, I, I think I said everything that I had to say about the call during the call. So I really want to end this with, uh, with the roast of of Lauren by Mr. John Curry mode, better known as Jorn comedy who, um, while in the community, he released a now classic classic seven minute roast that doesn't feel like it's 30 minutes at all. It goes by in, in no time. And if you haven't, uh, if you haven't seen this before, then you are definitely in for a treat and you don't want to go away because if you like to laugh, if you like to chuckle, then you're in the right place. And and you're going to wonder, why isn't this guy around anymore? Why isn't he here in a time when when we could use him the most? And I I have the same question. But uh, next month is Jorlai, where we will be celebrating two years since Jorn Comedy uh, was busted as a a freaky, creepy weirdo. But please enjoy the roast of Lorne Armstrong. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for the host of the roast tonight. Mr. Joran Comedy! Thank you. Thank you, friends. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, weren't all other comics great? Give it up. Give it up for all the presenters. Oh, love you. Love you all. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Let me begin by saying, friends, Romans, Lornographers, lend me your ears. I come here tonight not to praise Armstrong, but to roast him. Lorne, you're looking a little confused. That was a quote from William Shakespeare. I know for sure you've never heard of him before. It is my pleasure tonight to make fun of this man. And I use the word man as loosely as fucking possible. (laughs) Why am I wearing shades? My blue eyes are my superpower. Mm, so good to be here tonight. Lauren, you are legendary for getting people's names wrong. Absolutely legendary. Which is why we now have a member of the community known as Andy Burkat. Ridiculous. So, I'm going to help you out. My name is Joran. That's Jor, runs with or, and run which is what you would do if any of us ever came down to bumfuck me to look for your ass. Absolutely, absolutely ridiculous. Ugh. Lauren, let me tell you a little bit about me. Uh, I'm better than you in every conceivable way. Does that sound conceited? Does that sound like I'm full of myself? You know, I feel like it would be wrong if I was talking about another man that way, but I'm not talking about a man, I'm talking about Lauren fucking Armstrong which is why I'm trying to get all you guys to call him an ogre. Makes sense, doesn't it? Lauren, let me run down the list real quickly. Uh, 
I'm smarter than you. I'm better looking than you. I have bluer eyes than you. I'm funnier than you. I'm a better writer, singer, songwriter, guitarist, human being. Uh, I speak better than you. Uh, I'm not a virgin. And oh, there was one other thing. One, what is it? Oh, I'm not a fucking pedophile. And I've never been to jail. It gets better and better. Uh, I'll get back to this loser in a moment. Uh, let me just talk with uh, the people in the crowd today. Clobbering time here. All right, my good buddy, Mr. Clobbering time is here. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Clobber, I understand that you want to keep your anonymity online. That's cool, man. That's cool. But you're here in person. Take that fucking paper bag off your head. <sighs> TCAP Recipes, another good friend of mine. TCAP Recipes is here along with this beautiful... Uh, Hillborn, if you ever talk to the the person catfishing Lorne, send them send this their way. This is how you get Lorne. This is how you hit Lorne. And he doesn't just stick to Lorne. He's going to get to Vince Nicotra and let that guy have it. Fuck it. He's going to take that guy to task twice. This is comedy. Whatever was going on during that call was fine, but this is cerebral comedy. A little girl. Chef Tango, so adorable. You're a good girl. Yeah, I see you let you off the treadmill. Very nice. Uh, no shedding. No shedding on the floor, though. Uh, I'm not talking about the cute little doggy. I'm talking about your hairy arms. <laughs> Who else is here? Baked Salmon, my buddy Baked Salmon. He's a man. He's a fish. And yet I understand the term mermaid is offensive. Hmm. Shinskawala. Buongiorno, Paisan. Buongiorno. Oh, mm. Shin is so Italian, so Italian. You know, Shin, Italians are supposed to be confident and manly. For some reason, I love that the air conditioner just kicked on right there. Uh, I think it might be the, other than the thermostat, the air conditioner is my second favorite part of this, of this bit. So what I'm saying is Vince Nicotro must really be a disappointment to your entire race. Ugh, ugh. Man, that Vince Nakoja, man, what a jerk. The stuff he said to poor Wes Most. Damn. He said Wes Most ancestors must know a thing or two about being lynched. I heard that. I'm like, oh, this guy's a jerk. And just a reminder, I had never spoken to this man before. I had no idea who he was. And he contacted me out of the blue to tell me that I needed to watch his lawn. He actually contacted me because he felt this was so good. I needed to drop whatever I was doing to watch this. This guy's a genuine asshole. He said that about Wes and this was my response. But then he said, Wes needed a haircut and I'm like, you do not say that kind of things. That pissed me off. Why? But it's because I'm bald. I think it might be, man, I think. Oh. <laughs> Lornio, <laughs> Ember tells me that you hate guys who shave their head, huh? I make this look good. <laughs> See, Lorne, the thing is, I look better bald than you will ever look. And I have a funky dent in my head. Yeah, right there. See? Right here, right here. This is where, this is the part that hit the ground when Mama dropped me as a baby. Yep. And now you know the rest of the story. Uh, Ember Inferno is here. Muy caliente. Mm. Ember. What kind of name is Ember? Amber. Ember. For a Mexican woman, though. Seriously. I mean, the Mexican woman I dated had a real Spanish name. Kathleen. Ember. Oh, Ember has it. Oh, man. Mm. She's beautiful. She's intelligent. She's talented, got that sexy voice, got a good heart, has helped Betty so many ways. Mm, what I'm saying basically is that she's perfect for me. Racist, I think that was racist. I think that sounded kind of racist, which means Lauren approves. <laughs> Lauren, I'm not saying for certain that you're a racist, but the way you grabbed your wallet when Mr. Gigi walked by does make you an asshole. It really does. Mm. Uh, you know, Lorne, one thing that is so amazing about you is you said Emma was your best friend, but whenever your soulmate Winnie would say the most racist things against her because she's Mexican, 
you'd be like, oh, you shouldn't say such things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A woman says racist shit about your best friend and you laugh it off. But somebody calls you fat and you lose your fucking shit. If you guys have never seen Malena do this, uh, this bit, it's, it's, it's so good. She knows it so well. You know, Lauren, what's so interesting about the Church of God is it's full of beautiful women. I mean that. The church is so many mm, lovely ladies. And the beauty of it all is none of them would ever have sex with you in a million years. Lauren, let me be crystal fucking clear. Before any of them have sex with you, I will have a threesome. I will. I will. Does that sound consistent? I don't care. I will have sex. He better not be having that fucking threesome with, with Jamie because I'm pretty sure that's what Lauren was upset about. These must connect in the in the Joraverse. With three women at once before this. Wait, did I just say that the definition of a threesome is me having sex with three women? Today, boys and girls, we find out that Joran Comedy can't count. Oh no! Thank you, thank you, that's my time. Good night. God bless you all, bye. And again, I, I wanna remind you guys that he was contacting not just me, but everyone who he mentioned in that horrible, horrible fucking sketch to let them know that he had made something with them in it that you absolutely had to see. And it, I didn't watch it for months. And even when I did, it was the longest seven minutes of my life. And uh, it wasn't until after he got busted and we started watching it, ironically, that it became funny to me. But it's only funny that he spent time and was so proud of it. He posted that in the Church of Cod Facebook group. He was posting that shit on Reddit. Like, he wanted people to see that. Like, that's the kind of shit you make in seventh grade on an old camcorder that still used full side VHS tapes, and you're not showing people that shit. Like, that's that stays at mom's house with the Columbo VHS tapes that never get recorded over. That's not what you do with it, Joran. Anyway, um, guys, thank you so much for coming to the stream. Um, I, I will be streaming again this week. Monday, I'm releasing the new Vince Nicotra video, the final video about Nicotra on my uh, Westmost channel. And if you like true crime, subscribe to my true crime channel. It's hundred percent true crime. It's in the description. So please uh, check that out. Thank you to Hillborn for letting me stream this call and, uh, and for, and for hanging out. That was cool. And guys have a good, have a good rest of your weekend. Sundays with Cod tomorrow. Uh, it's, it'll probably be shitty, but like he'll have a guest on, so it might be good. So, um, thanks a lot and, and have a good rest of your night.